I'm making a snaffle bit bridle and I need to do a ring that uh, would be part of that bridle and I got to thinking how can I do that and I remember that when they made chain mail for people to wear they would uh, wrap the wire around a round post and then they cut it like that and you get a round snaffle bit <laughs> so I thought I'd try that and uh, we'll see if it works out I don't know I'm gonna put these aside hold on to them just a little trick that I just just barely worked out for the first time Time to play with some clay. This side's going to be easier to work on because I don't have to work around the cowboy. And so this is going to be a little easier. I turned the heat off, but now I'm wishing I kept it on. It's actually pretty cool out here today. It's uh, snowed last night. <laughs> Again, it's Montana. We don't actually get into summer until probably June, June or July. Okay, I'm going to turn my attention to some of the detailing between the legs of the horse because it needs some detailing badly.
Okay, it's time to take the clay down. And set it up right. I just need to uh, increase the uh, depth of the back of the head, the muscle area. It's a little lopsided right now. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to start my uh, bridle in a few minutes here. I got to warm this place up a little bit, so I'm going to have to turn that heat back on. It's gotten cold in here real fast. So I'm going to have to. Irritate you guys with a bunch of noise from the uh, heater. <sighs> yeah, I'm happy the way the head turned out, finally. Alright, I've taken a Super Sculpty and uh, I've run it through my pasta machine and I'm just going to cut me the uh, leather for the uh, with a snapple bit bridle. Now this is a file cabinet uh, piece of metal that goes to the top part of the uh, file that hangs the file on the uh, rods in your file cabinet. It's really handy for a straight edge when you're sculpting because it's not big and heavy like a big ruler and uh, it does a great job. Now I just gotta make all these scraps to be the same thickness. And so I'm going to try to do that. Well, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Well, I just got a phone call. I got some friends coming over that I haven't seen for a couple of years to visit. And it's going to cut my afternoon short. And I'm going to have to cut my sculpting short. So I'll pick this up tomorrow. 
I apologize for that, but uh, it's always good to see old friends stop by. And it's good to have you guys stop by every once in a while to watch me work on my clay. And uh, I do appreciate all of you very much. And I appreciate your comments, and I wish you made more. <laughs> also, I'd love to have you start doing the thumbs up on my uh, videos, because that would help get the videos out there. It really would. All right, everybody. I'm going to go upstairs and get uh, cleaned up a little bit and get ready to meet my friends. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.